So I don't blame you for looking at my nails saying what the heck. So I don't want to take all of my nails off to do this look. And I had just filled in my nails not too long ago. And then I um, filled another tutorial, which you may have already seen, you may not. So I'm just going to extend the left bunch of product on. So yeah, I'm gonna extend them. Taking IBD gel, which is just a clear gel. I do have the refill, so I'm almost out and I need to do the refill. So when I recommend using this, I always recommend grabbing from one side and then shaking off. So you pull and then shake off on one side because if you don't, you will get a ton of bubbles in your product from moving it around. Okay, so I'm creating some stilettos and I'm gonna go to nine. And again, you're always going to want to make sure if you're extending your nail that you overlay it. So when I filed, I filed way more down on the tip. Okay, we're doing color on top. So I am going to build this up a little bit after I file. So you can see here, it's going to look crazy because it is not nice and smooth because we didn't extend it through the bottom, so it is going to look right when we're done, but this does look weird, so don't worry about it. All right, now we are going to repeat the process. So again, putting the form on, putting most of the gel at the tip, and then fading it back, and then we will come in and file, and then we will build up the nails. I do have a separate tutorial on how I build up the nails, but I wanted to leave it in this video just to show you, but I don't talk you through it. I will link that other video up in the corner. going to take off that tacky layer and I am going to shape these
filed, buffed, ready to go. So we are going to take Madame Glam's perfect white and i absolutely love this white again it is one of my favorites i also love their black which i think i do use the black in this one as well so i do have a little divot there i do fill it but just ignore that for now so we do one coat of this and then i come in and do a second coat after i fully cure this Spilling out of your Spanx is the gel I'm taking. You can use regular nail polish. Actually, I probably should have used regular nail polish. And then I'm taking this little duster and essentially I'm dipping the tip in and then pushing the trigger so it's splattering it on the um, nail. And since this is gel, you wanna make sure it doesn't get on your skin. So that's why I say I think regular polish would have done better, but I make it through it and I do clean up anything before I cure it. touching gel and then swiping didn't like it. So I end up just pushing my finger down, but I don't think I recorded it. My bad. Now taking that perfect black and we are going to do this on the middle finger. And I actually don't have the footage for the ring finger with the ombre. So what I do with the ombre, even though you see me painting this black, is that I do it about one third and then kind of like fade it down. And then I take that Bunsen color or the spilling out of your Spanx and then I fade it upward and then I kind of um, blood it in. So now we're taking the white again and this one is going to be our Pennywise or it, however you want to say it. And my mind was him creepily looking through like a wall, like a hole in the wall. It came together in the end, but I did struggle. So this is a water decal and I put it on a stamper. I forget who taught me this trick, but you put on a stamper and you can actually position it where you want it to. And so I did that now what I should have done here is put a matte top coat before I go in with the next steps and you'll see why. So I'm taking this clear jelly stamper plate and this one has the brick wall on it. And what we're gonna do is stamp it in a kind of see-through-y red. And then I kind of make it a little bit darker with the black cause I'm kind of making it kind of dusty, dirty kind of um, area but we have to get there. So first we're gonna stamp this down and move it to the side. And you'll see here in a second of why this should have been done differently. Um, I do have to stamp it twice, I believe, for how long the nails are. All right, do you see my mistake here? I am literally rubbing off the decal. It ends up being okay because I touch it up, but matte top coat it before you go in and destroy it. So I'm taking that black gel polish and what I'm doing is kind of like squiggling it around and I kind of just spread it out some, kind of smudge it a little bit because I don't want it to be perfect. Again, I'm trying to make it grungy looking. So I want some of the bricks to get darker. I want the hole around him to be kind of like creepy as well. And we got there, but 
my video skills were not on point today. I'm not gonna lie, I'm sorry. So now I'm taking that slipping out of your Spanx again. What I recommend here, especially if you're using a builder gel that is a little bit more runny, like I am here, didn't think about it at the time, is cure it. So put it down, flash cure, move on, and then fully cure it because it does kind of spread out a little bit and then I have to kind of touch it up a little bit. So now I'm taking that spilling your Spanx and pushing this and just letting it go. I want it to be kind of fleshy, like kind of like explosion-y, um, but I accidentally cure it on my skin. You don't want to do that. Put a rubber base down to protect your skin here. It's my mistake, but we got there in the end. So I'm sorry if you made it this far because it was a disaster. Yes, I'm leaving all the mess at the bottom because this tutorial was a disaster. If you made it this far, I am proud of you. Um, I had high hopes for it. It just, I don't, I couldn't execute it. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give this thumbs up, more like a pity thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.